Hello, hello. So where am I again today? Yeah, I've just come up to the chateau. Um, just have a look what they're doing. Mark's come up and he's doing what he loves best. He's doing some grass mowing for them. It's been an absolute wonderful couple of days, proper spring-like and Mark's just come up because he was so, so busy. Uh, try and catch up on the grass before it gets too much longer as you can see it's like kind of struggling now to go through with how long it is but no, so everybody's been the same nobody can get on the grass nobody can get to cut it because it's been so so wet looks like he's got a blockage now anyway I'll take you a walk around and see what everybody's been up to Tracy's been farmer today. So I don't know if you've seen in the videos of the chateau, they've been clearing up the driveway so I just come up to have a look what they've been doing up here I'll give you a little tour around and Tracy the fire starter she never stops does she never stops they're cutting some of the trees down the branches that was all covering all the driveway off can actually get up here now it's looking absolutely stunning see the gates right at the far end show you up there so before um, they had the chateau it was lent out to the farmer the farmer had all his cows in these fields here and all in between the trees there was all the barbed wire hiding it so you couldn't actually get through so it looks like they've cut all the broke all the barbed wire down now and you can actually get through in between the trees now baby christmas trees up birds are singing proper springtime absolutely stunning it's just proper springtime coming now Here's the garden, it's going to be done. And who's working up there? Can you see a little dot right at the very top? There's Terry working on the dormer windows. Right, it's nice to make the most of this beautiful weather. I don't know if anybody's actually been right down to the bottom. And seen the lake that they have so I'm going to take you a walk down into the lake I'll see you in a minute this is the back of the Lantillier the restaurant and this is their field as well the farmer still uses this at the minute Um, that's where we are at the Chateau Lot. Just come through this opening. Does it look beautiful on a day like this? So I'm trying to find, there's a bridge here somewhere. 
I'm trying to get to the bridge to go across where the lake is. Can you see the lake? I don't think you can at the minute. But I'll take you down there. Take you across to the bridge. And this is the little bridge. I think it's fed just by the natural water through the pipes there from the land. It goes down through there under the bridge. And when it's filled up, it goes into the lake. Hear the birds. Like there's a tree down over there and again it's just another little job to do there's some pickle fish jumping up there need to get William down to come and fish it so as I was saying the normal water runs down uh, from the N12 down the field comes into this pipe here when it's full and runs into the lake and next door's got a lake as well and it was when we was first when the Pachato people was first over uh, Terry and Ash had come down into the pond and they said to us could we while they were away go back to England have a look at the lake because there's no water in it and they think they've seen some fish so we came trudging down here in an emergency. Came trudging down here in an emergency with bins and bags and things like that and fishing nets. Me, William, Mark, and I think they might have been Jacob, Megan. William was trying to catch the fish. He went in with his waders on and it was thick, really, really thick mud. So William was struggling on his own. So I went in with my trainers, my leggings and a t-shirt. Just ploughed in there to try and help these poor fish. Um, I think we got about, if I remember right, there was about eight carp that came out of here. And they were it's just, I don't know how they survived. They were just swimming in the mud. I put them into the buckets, but we'd not got much water in there either. Um, one of the lads went to next doors and said, could we put these fish into your pond to try and save them? And that's what we did. We managed to save the fish that was in here, put them in there. And then out of our pond, we've got goldfish. We've come and put some fish into back into it now. Because the Voir Vert blocked it off, what would it be? Two, three years ago, they blocked all the road off. And uh, so the natural water that was running in through these pipes here was just non-existent. So there was no water coming into there. So it had dried up all the pond. But now there's plenty of water in there. I say it's just another just job because it needs maintaining. It needs all the uh, pathways clearing up, the dead trees taken out. I mean, it's not had nothing done to it for, for years and years, but at the minute it is getting left as it is. And that's the way back up to the chateau. I don't know what these white flowers are. I'll to ask that ash in a minute. 
He's really good with his flowers, so I'm gonna ask Ash to see what they are. Are they really pretty? I don't know what that one is. What that plant is. See where we are, that's just the little cottage, Tracy's cottage, coming up to. So I've just come through the gates and that's where the pond is down there. Back into the garden. You can see Terry. Hi Terry. <laughs> Got more guts than me going up there. I'll take you through in a minute. Show you what they're doing. Take you around to the back of the garden. Everything's bashed down just because well, that's just the weed, especially now the sun's come in. All the rain we've had, it's going to start growing like one oh. And then what do we have through this door here? Ta da! There we go. There was the little garden that they had last year. The chickens. The caravans are down there. I'll show you Ash's little garden he's been making. It's really nice and pretty. Oh, did you see this that they've got? Hello, Mr. Cockrell. Like sundial, <laughs> that lovely. Don't know what that's for. Don't know what the stone was actually used for. If it was a washing stone that they used to have, this is a barbecue area. Looking forward to them again. Very very soon we'll be down here eating barbecues. There's the caravans. Some big, big wood down there. It's been come down. And then that is Ash's little garden. He's been making. I don't know if you've seen on Ash's videos, Ash and Terry's videos, that these black things, I think it's an absolutely amazing idea. There was pen holders. You used to store your pens in there. They've recycled them, and they're going to put the lettuces and strawberries in them. And then he's got his um, sprinkler system all set up, all on a timer. Because again, you're running a chateau. You've got no time for anything. The house is big enough to concentrate. There is Mark again. Right, I'll just take you up and show you what Terry's doing now.
Hello. Hello. You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah. I'll tell my music a cop. <laughs> Copyright and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't be having that, Terry. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good. So I've just done a tour around the lane. I've walked up 42 steps. 42? Yeah, I'm not shattered now. Should have done a guessing game. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, been up the lane, showed them what you've been doing up there, cleaning up. Been down to the pond, told them the little story when you was going back to England yeah. and the fish nearly died. <laughs> so yeah, come up to see you now. Yeah, well, I'm just painting, getting another coat on these double windows while the weather's good. <sighs> it's been Absolute. lovely, isn't it? Absolute. I'm so Perfect. hot. <laughs> yeah. Look at the views. I know, stunning. What's not to like, eh? No. On a day like this. So yeah, so while I can, while the scaffolding's up, I'm just giving them a quick lick of paint just so they're nice and fresh. And then we can get the scaffolding down now the weather's good. And get the garden sorted. I know, that's going to start growing fast now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying the bash has been put down there so it didn't grow so much but now yeah. it's going to really start to yeah, it's gonna start shoot. Coming up. So we need to get back out there and get that done. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right Can then. come out and have a look? No. Sure? <laughs> no. I'll give you a hand. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know me and the heights. I don't mind heights but there is <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way I'm getting on there. <laughs> I just yes. said I don't know how you do it. <laughs> oh, hi, there's no one else that'll do it. No. And it costs us, well, it doesn't cost us because we've got our old scaffold in, but if we were to hire someone to do this, yeah. it's a thousand euro just to put the scaffold in up and a thousand euro just to take it down. And then we have to pay a daily rate. Daily rate, isn't it? To keep it, yeah. So, and then someone to paint. <laughs> so yeah, so, while you can do it yourself, you might as well do it yourself. But yeah, painting two down winters, you're probably looking at what, probably about five grand. Yeah. All in all. With all everything. in all with everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. Well, right. Well, I'll let you carry on on your tour. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, we'll and I'll see, see you soon. Bit. Bye. Bye. So as you've seen, Terry was on the top floor. This is in the top floor of the chateau and people that live close by when you see it now outside with the lights on at night time this is what you're seeing this is in the turret and it's absolutely beautiful at night now and especially with the new room being done it's uh, really different when you come past Oop, if you're not scared of heights it's Pandy, 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 come on. So yeah, I'll take you downstairs and it's my time to go then. Pandy won't stay there, she's so scared. <laughs> she's a little sweetie, but yeah, I've told them they need a stand stair lift for old people that comes upstairs. Oh, she's there. Pandy, Pandy, this is their pussy cat. There she goes. Beautiful. Hey, beauty. So we're down to the middle floor. All the lights on. Ta da! Down to the bottom. I hope you enjoyed the little tour around today. I just showed you a bit more of the chateau and what it's about, what they're up to, what they're doing. And uh, I'm going to have to pick Jacob up now from school. So thank you all for watching, for subscribing, and hope you're enjoying them as much as I'm enjoying making them. So see you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.